I love the simplicity of being on the road with only what I really need. It's like life is in focus, and curiosity leads to connections. I'm Giles Clement, and I'm driving along Nevada's Cowboy Corridor, pulling over to capture portraits of people who have been part of the Northern Nevada story. Taking portraits is one of my favorite ways to experience a new place, but it also gives me a chance to really get to know some of the people who live there. We're going to go on three. It's going to go one, two... I think people who thrive in the American West are their own brand of interesting because they hold and respect tradition. Cottonwood Ranch is an off-grid retreat that focuses on land stewardship. Mackenzie is a ranch hand, and while she may represent the new generation, she's also an old soul who's taking the reins to preserve her corner of Nevada. The family at Cottonwood is applying modern science to age-old cattle ranching traditions, making it more sustainable for their children and for generations to come. If you want to know what the future of tradition is, come to Elko. J.M. Capriolas is a family-owned custom saddle shop, so legendary that the moment any hand-tooled leather good comes out of the door, they're already considered an heirloom. All of our saddles are handmade one saddle at a time, and this is our 90th year of building saddles. Though Capriolas has been a part of the Elko scene for close to 100 years, it's John Wright's turn to take over the family business. He's keeping Elko's heritage alive by passing along the tools of the trade to his son, Charlie. It's nice to continue that tradition as far as handmade crafts. Gold's still right there. The Pioneer Garden Bed and Breakfast is tucked away in Unionville, which was once one of Nevada's more notorious mining camps, whose profits captured the attention of people like Mark Twain. The Bed and Breakfast is more than just an overnighter, though. It's part of this living ghost town. Mitzi and her son David have been a part of the Unionville story since the 1970s when they purchased many of the town's historic buildings and converted them into elegant accommodations. Yeah, and there's a definite sense of saving of a piece of history. All right, so here we go. All right, you're all set. That's it. You okay? I work with the Ambertype medium because of the tangibility and honesty of the images I capture. The organic and complex nature of the process often leads to unique flaws and beautiful imperfections. Making these portraits is a huge amount of work, but the reveal is always worth it. <laughs> 